this digital age, metering is becoming a lost art. Many new photographers seem to be relying on the back of their camera for metering and correct exposures. Although as a photographer, mastering proper metering techniques is essential for achieving consistent, repeatable results. There are two ways to meter your subject, incident and reflective. In this section, we'll be discussing the two different metering techniques and when you should use each. We'll also explain when to use a disc and when to use a dome for proper metering. By the end of this section, you'll understand 18% gray and the significance it has in metering and proper exposure. In the next section, we'll cover proper metering techniques. For example, where to place a meter for proper exposure. The goal of this section is to show you proper metering techniques so you will know what effect you will get before you make the exposure. We will also explain lighting ratios in a straightforward, easy to understand manner. In the next section, we'll go through a metering and actual shoot step by step. We'll start with the main light and show you where to position the light meter for proper results. Then meter the fill, the background light, and the hair light. We will establish a lighting ratio and show you how to determine this with proper metering techniques. In the last section, we will be working with a dark skin model in the studio. There seems to be a lot of confusion as how to properly meter and light for dark skin. What exposure do I use? How do I meter properly? Do I open up an additional stop or should I move the light in closer? What's the best light to use? Join us in this training video and we will answer all of your metering questions.